Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm finally getting a chance to sit down and do my review video on the new SBD Momentum Stiff Wrist Wraps. Um, it took me a little longer to come out with this review, mostly because I normally use the flexible version of SBD's wrist wrap. So here, for a comparison, I have an original style flexible wrist wrap that I've used. Um, this is the, the black version. I think this was called Phantom whenever they were released. Um, I also do have the flexible new Momentum wrist wraps that I have a review video on. So go ahead and check that out um, on my channel if you're interested in those. But today is all about the stiff wrist wraps. And I, it's one of those things. So I have been using the flexible wrist wraps for so long that, you know, I am just used to a certain way of wrapping my wrists and I'm used to the technique of using this style of wrist wrap. Honestly, it's been since probably 2017 that I've been using this type of wrist wrap if not before, but that's when I started working with SBD. During that time, I've tried the stiff wrist wraps on at least, I know for sure, one occasion, maybe even two, and I tried them at different lengths. So the first time that I tried the stiff wrist wraps, I believe I tried the medium length, and then I tried the shorter length because I was thinking, um, that a shorter length would be less of a hassle to wrap, which now that I, I look back and I look at this style, I think my, my thought process was wrong. Now, overall, my first impressions with the new stiff wrist wraps here are I do like the slightly more rough texture of a construction. And you're probably not going to be able to tell on the video, but the old style wrist wraps were a little bit more slick. And this is even more so in the flexible wrist wraps. You can see this, they went to a more um, rough, almost cotton-like texture, which I kind of expressed my, my concern that maybe that texture would fray a little bit more in my flexible wrist wrap video. But with the stiff wrist wraps, I think there's a perfect balance there. I don't worry so much about the material fraying, which is really nice. Now, my first impressions whenever I used them were still, oh, this is probably way too stiff of a wrist wrap for me. Because as far as the pliability on these, you can just tell. So this is the original flexible wrap, right? And I'll, I'll do my best to apply the same amount of force. So you can see how much it's stretching there. And then you can also tell how flexible on a side to side basis the this wrist wrap is. And then if I do the same thing here, I can get very little flex. And then it is also way more stiff on a lateral basis as well. So the first time using these, I'm trying to crank them out on and I'm like, holy cow, I'm not getting very much stretch. And this is one of those things, as you're wrapping my wrist, my first thought process is, how much am I tiring myself out cranking this really stiff wrist wrap on? Which, um, that is a valid point. And the same thing here, my thought process with the flexible wraps are, I have to give way less effort to stretch way more and get maybe as much support. Now, I'm glad that I've stuck with these because the stiff wrist wraps have been growing on me. I've been using them uh, the first week I had them. I used them for my heavy neutral grip bench days. And then I also use them for my heavy regular competition grip bench. And I actually have a preference for the neutral grip benching with these wrist wraps. And I do have to mention, there is a, certainly a break-in period with these. 
because these are way more pliable now than when I first received them. I think they needed to get stretched out and used to being wrapped and they started to give a little more give. And that's where I've gone wrong, I think, in the past. And I want to caution you all not to give up on these wraps so quickly, because I certainly have, because they'll have that break-in period. And now they certainly have more stretch, and I feel like I can get a very good cast-like wrap on my wrist with these wrist wraps. And if you all want to see my style of wrapping wrists, check it out. I have a video on my channel as well for that. But whenever you have these Sift wrist wraps on, they are going to give zero uh, pliability in any direction, which is really nice depending on your bench press form and style. And this is where... They are optimal for me for some movements and not optimal in others. So starting with the neutral grip bench pressing where I use the Swiss bar, if you let the bar rock forward or back side to side at all, you can get yourself in a dangerous situation because you lose that center of balance and it can roll on you forward or back. And that's how you strain muscles, strain a pec, strain a shoulder, anything like that. I've certainly had it happen before with that neutral grip. Now, the reason why these may not be optimal for some people's competition bench press actually comes back to the very same point that we just made involving the Swiss bar bench. And this so happens to apply to me as well. So for the longest time, early in my powerlifting career, I subscribed to the idea and I do think for most people, this is true, that biomechanically, the bar should be over top of your wrist and your elbow. And throughout the bench press, you need to keep those in line, which according to the principles of biomechanics, that makes the most sense. You've got a direct line for force output in that bench style. But a problem that I kept running into was when trying to keep everything in line like that, off of my chest, I had trouble pushing the bar back over my face. I would always want to push it straight out and I would get the bar lost in this kind of no man's land over my feet. So to remedy that over the years, what I've done is a little tweak where right before I touch my chest, I actually rotate my wrist backward. And it's an ever so slight rotation, but what it does is it puts the bar behind my elbow. So at the bottom of the bench, it feels like I'm not aligned with the bar all the way, but naturally what this causes me to do is to chase the bar with my elbow off of my chest and it actually gets that proper bar path back over my face instead of letting the bar drift over my feet. Because if you're behind this way, it's very hard to lose the bar off of your chest towards your feet this way. So I have done this for years and over that time period of acquiring that form on the bench press, I've been using the SBD flexible wrist wraps. And if we look, I'll go ahead and wrap my wrists with these. They do give significant ply still on my wrist. I can move pretty freely here. And what that does is it allows that ever so slight rotation of my wrist at the bottom of the bench press while still supporting the wrist joint. And then Whenever I'm coming off of the chest, the wrist wrap actually aids in getting my wrist back to that neutral position as fast as I can to, to lock out the lift. Now, whenever I went through training, I, like I said, I use these for my neutral grip benching with the Swiss bar. And I also use this with my competition benching for a day of training. 
And throughout that whole day, I felt like something was off. I was feeling strong, which was to be expected in my training cycle. I've been feeling good, but I felt like my technique was off. And it wasn't until the first, um, my heaviest single with 200 kilograms that I actually kind of realized what was going on. And you can see because off of my chest, it came toward my feet, the bar, and I had to kind of wrestle it in the snowman's land back over my face to lock it out. And I was plenty strong enough to do that, but I didn't think about it until after the training was over as to why that was happening. And it was because of the stiff wrist wraps. Like I said, these make a perfect cast. And because these give such a stiff cast like feel, they give no pliability to move your wrist back and forth, which for most people that would be ideal because you want to keep these joints stacked. But because of my specific technique, it didn't allow me to roll my, my wrist back. And the result of that was off of my chest, I was getting pushed towards my feet again. I was pushing in the straight line rather than back over my face um, in that ideal path. So for me personally, these wrist straps aren't ideal for my benching style. Now, if you are someone, and I, I acknowledge that my benching style is in the minority, for sure. This is just a niche example. I think most people would be best suited to keep these joints in line. And for those of you who are in that situation, especially if you have a larger arch, you're pressing in a straight line pattern, or you don't have an issue with the bar drifting towards your feet, then these wrist straps are perfect, right? Honestly, from the construction, the new slightly softer material is perfect. I do not worry about them uh, fraying with the Velcro at all. Like I said, they were stiff at first, but after breaking them in, yes, they're still very stiff, but they're much more manageable. So overall, I would give these wrist wraps probably a nine out of 10 as far as utility, stiffness level, and especially if I take myself out of my personal situation where the flexible wrist wrap is more ideal, then I can acknowledge that these are probably the best wraps on the market. And that's coming from someone who, um, yes, I work with SBD. I've been sponsored by them since 2017, and I certainly carry my biases. But before then, I've worn every single pair of Titans wrist straps, the titaniums, RPMs, signature golds, the uh, blue, red, and yellow ones that I can't remember the name. Um, THP, maybe. I think those were called. And then I've also worn Anzer wrist wraps before the um, red and black ones, which once again, I don't know the name. So I have this diversity of experience and I can tell you of those, this is the best stiff wrist wrap that I've ever worn. And uh, especially if you have the money to invest in a second pair for neutral grip bench pressing, I would 100% do that. I think it's a safety thing where these actually keep you more safe because they prevent that rotation, uh, which may lead to injury. And I'm certainly going to keep using these in my neutral grip benching. And it's also important to note, as I mentioned earlier in the video, that in the past, I've gotten shorter stiff wrist wraps with the thinking of, oh, they're stiff, maybe I won't have to wrap them as many times to get the same support. And I think where that's gone wrong is in a shorter wrist wrap, you have a higher percentage of that wrist wrap being Velcro, which doesn't stretch at all. So in this wrap, I'm getting most of the stretch from this back end. And then this side is basically just going around with little to no stretch. So I suggest for you all, if you get a pair of these, get the larges to allow for that stretch to create that cast-like effect. 
that's just in my experience and kind of, you know, my personal takeaway here, having gotten stiff wrist straps at least two other times and decided not to use them before I settled on these that which I like and I'm going to keep implementing. So there it is. That's my review of the new SBD Momentum Stiff Wrist Wraps. Hopefully that provided some insight to you all, especially coming from someone who um, has not trained in stiff wrap, wrist wraps. I have trained with the flexible ones for years and years. And really, I'm pleasantly surprised with these stiff wrist wraps and their utility. Uh, so I highly suggest go ahead, get yourself a pair of these if you're interested. Check those out. I appreciate you all watching as usual. Comment down below if there's something I missed and you want clarity. I'll do my best to answer those questions as well. As always, like and subscribe. And until next time, happy lifting.